we love the good food, we love the culture. What we have today in the vlog? Let's see guys. things to do in family yes is a very quick way if we have all the right ingredients and even one or two less or more doesn't matter so we take a like a bigger plate or a thali like you say it in India and first we prepare some brown fried onions and crush them and put it in this plate here really crumpled you can add some more I've added like two, one and a half tablespoon of oil in the front and then to this I add also some fresh onions just the rest of it I guess and then sliced green chilies for the spicy flavor and then to this I add bay leaves a couple of them and 100 grams of chicken And to that we add now this is black chira which is called shahi zira and this actually gives a very different flavor than our normal and then I sprinkle a bit of it and leave the rest for the rice too and it gives a great flavor just twitch it with the hand very artistic Very healthy too. And then we add some coriander, fresh cut coriander, right? And then we add uh, this about one limes, fresh lime juice, the green ones. And now to this we add yogurt. This one I don't need to flavor. I'm gonna add some salt also to the rice, so just be a little careful. Spices we add little turmeric, red chili powder. Can go easy on it depending sometimes the red chili powder comes like quite strong, but this one is not very strong. But we also added the green chilies, so be careful. And then the garam masala to it. Maybe like one teaspoon full of it and now we use our nice God-given hands and mix it marinate it kind of all together even when we are mixing we can get the flavor gonna add a little more yogurt just a spoon more I'll just make extra because I like to distribute this to my neighbors and all and so there it is While we are doing this, meanwhile, we can soak basmati rice, about two cups, 
and then cook it separately and add a dalcini to it and a cardamom to it and little shahi jeera and also uh, two cup of tablespoons of milk with saffron and add to this rice and you can cook it we can cook it separately this this is the trick actually it saves time and we don't have to do we skip the dump part which actually takes 40 minutes and now we leave this for 10 minutes and we will just cook high right now you can see that the 70 percent rice here is already cooked what i'm going to do is that stain this rice through a sieve and then add it on the top of it and let it cook for 15 20 minutes and then we will give you the last shot So hello guys, this is meanwhile um, uh, yogurt made with uh, bundi. Uh, bundi, you know, you get in uh, normal stores, you can make at home, but nowadays you get even from Haldi Ram, just pure only bundi mixture. And this is something that you can soak in warm water so that this extra oil and oil comes out. And then I have just put, taken yogurt again, like half a dough packet, like 500 grams yogurt. And then I've added this squashed, be uh, took this bundi out of the warm water, squeezed it in. And to that I've just added a little bit of um, jeera powder, like cumin. And uh, cumin powder, which is, yeah, cumin powder. And then red chili powder and then little salt, a slight sugar to taste. And you can also add chaat masala to the top or green uh, coriander uh, to the top like just as seasoning so there is yours and that goes great with biryani naturally you could also do with um, cucumber also similar it's as taste okay and here we see that it's time kind of cooking and we let it cook and cover the lid a bit in slow a bit while this rice Can see this rice yeah you can actually do it with the sieve or just add it now directly it's done so this way as i said you save the time and we have all the ingredients we can have this biryani ready in like half an hour very fast compared to the traditional style We have the chicken is down cooked and then a little bit and as it's cooking I'm adding the rice which is almost cooked so there is no dumb part of it it's all cooked and you can see it's also separated we can add little ghee to it on the top and we have this flavor and all we do now is like let it cook a bit more five minutes more and then is the chicken biryani ready 
just give it five more minutes as it cooks. Here guys, just done the Hyderabadi style biryani. You know, you can decorate it with a little bit of green chilies if you want, if people prefer spicy. And then we just serve it with yogurt. It's mixed. Enjoy!